Well, greetings everybody and welcome back. I've got a lot of new things that are happening and I'm going to explain it all as fast as I can and get through this so we can get onto some boat projects. But you're going to definitely want to stick around because I've got some really good news for you that's going to save you some money on your DIY projects for your boat. First of all, I'm going to try and start coming out with some shorter videos on a couple of topics rather than 20 minute long ones on several topics. So hopefully I'll have some episodes out every couple of weeks, if not more and sooner. One of the reasons that I've had trouble getting a video back online any faster is, well, despite the thousands of dollars that I spend every year to back up and keep my content safe that I record on my cameras, stuff still happens. During the process of backing up the drive that I use to produce all the Salvation Navy content, the drive completely crashed and for whatever reason I can't quite figure out, it also corrupted my backup set. So not only did I lose the main drive with the current content on it that I need for future videos, I also lost the backup of it. No. However, I do have sort of a third backup. In a lot of the content that you'll be seeing coming up, you might notice this watermark down in the lower right hand corner. This is proxy footage but this proxy footage is a little lower resolution, not quite as clear, and it's got this watermark down there. So I just want to let you know what that was. And now I have a big announcement that's going to save you some money on your next DIY project for your boat. You'll probably notice that a lot of the products I'm using for this project come from Total Boat, which is a product line from Jamestown Distributors. For all of the Total Boat products that you've seen me use up until this point, I have bought myself. I wanted to do this to ensure that the review of products I had was completely unbiased. So everything that I've gotten from Total Boat up to this point, the paint, the fairing compound, the flotation foam, everything I've used from Total Boat has been paid for myself. In fact, everything I bought for this boat has been out of my own pocket. So there are a lot of people, including Jamestown distributors, that have an awful lot of my money. But I wouldn't take any of it back, especially the stuff from Total Boat. It's been a great product and their services have been good. So I reached out to them to see if there were any products they might be able to give me to review. And they said yes. Now don't worry, this channel and these episodes are not going to turn into a Total Boat commercial. So they've asked me to be a Total Boat ambassador for their products. And although I'm going to review them honestly, I'm not being paid by Total Boat or Jamestown Distributors. This is simply I get to look at their products, tell you how to use them, how to apply them, and ultimately what I really honestly think about them. So ultimately, how does this help you with your next boat project other than having some information I hope you can trust? So Total Boat has given me a discount code to pass on to all of you who watch this channel that you can enter at the time of checkout to save a few bucks on your purchase. And just so you know, I don't get any kind of kickback on that whatsoever. This is just a discount for you to save a few bucks on Total Boat products. Now there's more in the future I want to convey to you, but that's the important stuff right now. But right now, let's get on to some boat projects. While last winter gave me a few days to work on the boat when it was nice, I had no such luck this winter. The 2018 and 2019 winter just won't give up. Nevertheless, there's still some content from last spring I want to show you. And I've got a lot of new content for this coming season. One of the wood items I knew I was going to have to replace was the spindle at the top of the mast. After taking it off, it was clear how badly deteriorated it really was. I think one of the previous owners was a ham radio operator like I am and had antennas mounted up there as well as anchor lights and everything connected in ways that really weren't good for that wood. And in my opinion it was damaged beyond repair. Unfortunately the footage of my turning a new spindle was lost with the drive crash. But I had never turned any wood before so this was my very first attempt. I wanted to make it just a little bit longer than the original, and I have to say that for my first attempt it really seemed to turn out nice. It's made of solid hickory, and after I sanded it down and put some spar varnish on it, I put it back up in place, and I think it looks great. It's always nice when something like that turns out well, especially the first time. The hatch cover was one of those things I wanted to do something with, rather than had to. But even with the splash deadline coming soon, I really wanted to see what I could possibly do with it. I've always loved the look of a wooden hatch, so I milled some of the wood I have salvaged from old houses and such, and made several wood planks to clad the cover of the hatch. I used the Total Boat 5 to 1 epoxy to adhere the new planks to the hatch. The two sideboards and the center plank are cedar, and the other planks are pine. 
I thought it would make kind of a nice look. I even filled a knot in the center of the cedar with a dowel, which I think gives it kind of a unique look. I sanded it all off and applied some polyurethane I had left over from a non-boat project. I put 10 coats on and it looked great, but this finish was not one of my better ideas. The product I use on it was meant for hardwood floors and I thought, hey, why not? Give it a try. Plus I had some left over from the other project and wanted to use it up, but it really didn't stand up to UV light in the elements at all. So with the new episodes coming up, I'm going to be sanding that off and applying some other products to it and see if that holds up a lot better. So stay tuned for that. Working late into the night sometimes, I was scrambling to get everything ready for a launch that was less than two weeks away. I also placed the boom crutch bracket back on the cockpit combing and added a little stabilizer fitting at the bottom made out of white oak which would hopefully provide some strength to the base of the boom crutch without trapping water. I covered it with epoxy and it looked great as well. But epoxy by itself does not have a whole lot of UV protection either. So while it held together great, I'm going to refinish it starting off with some penetrating epoxy as well as another total boat product to seal it which has great UV protection and has a lot more mechanical durability. I'll show you the application of these two products as well as its results later, but if you need these products for your project now, I'll put a link in the show notes for the penetrating epoxy as well as the finishing product called Halcyon. Another thing on the boat I wanted to restore was the cabin vent. A previous owner had removed it and placed a compass in the vent hole. You can see it here somewhat in this video off to the left. But the brass mushroom style vent I wanted was kind of hard to come by, and most of them that would fit were way out of my budget. So after some patience and looking on eBay over the winter, I found this little jewel. It was from England and I got it for about $60 with shipping. But I cleaned and polished it all up and I have to say I think it looks fantastic. It was exactly what I wanted. I've talked about using these self-centering drill bits before and this is one tool I think is a must. You really got to get yourself some of these. Drilling the new mounting holes and adding some butyl tape and it was all set. Now it was time to put one of the centerpieces back in, the companionway doors. You might recall from previous videos that I made these out of mahogany from scratch. I did use the old doors as a template for their size, and I was really thrilled to see how well they fit back in the frame perfectly. The best way I found to remount the doors is to start off by placing a small shim of some kind along the bottom. I simply used a very thin piece of scrap wood a spacer maybe 1 16th of an inch thick. Then a small piece in the center between the doors and press them shut. Putting the hinges back on the pins, I could now use the self-centering bits again to drill out the new holes. I have to say this was a real white knuckle operation. Any mistake and I could ruin the doors or make a hole that could never be really covered up. I really wanted to get this one right. But to my delight, everything fit and everything worked perfectly the first time. Oh, yeah! The right tools and careful planning and construction made for a part of the restoration that really turned out perfectly. I'm really happy with it. Now it was time to work on the hull a little bit. I was seeing so much discoloration and stains on the gel coat of the hull, I was really thinking about possibly having to repaint it. But I really didn't have the time or the money for that. So I talked to the folks at Total Boat, told them what my situation was, and they sent me this kit for bringing back tire gel coat back to life. The first thing I wanted to do was wash the entire boat to get the dust and grit and grease or whatever else is on there that has accumulated over the past year or so. So first I used Total Boat's Boat Soap. Now one thing I really like about this off the bat is it's biodegradable and it's not destructive to the environment. So you can use this at your dock on the deck in the hull and not be concerned about polluting the water with harsh solvents. It already looked a lot better, so there's another plus for this soap product. The next thing I wanted to do was attack some of the more difficult stains with this Total Boat fiberglass polish. The folks at Total Boat said this would do the trick. 
but I was amazed to see the stain come off almost immediately with no major pressure applied. It's already looking better. Next I'm going to try the Total Buff Rubbing Compound. It essentially removes that dull, chalky surface that gel coat turns into once it oxidizes. It's also supposed to help restore and homogenize the color. I've never used it before, so let's see what it does. The best way I've found to apply these kinds of rubbing compounds is to place some of it on the buffer pad and smear it around on the hull a little bit, and then kick the buffer on, starting off with horizontal rows, moving down to start a new row each time, then starting over and going up and down in columns, then moving over to the side to start a new column each time, kind of making an overall checkerboard pattern. Apply some more for the next section as needed. Wipe off the excess when done. I was really starting to see a shine coming back already. And a lot of those patchy blemishes and ununiform color were starting to be a lot less noticeable. The second step in the process is to use a finer rubbing compound, Total Shine. It appears to be a finer grit version of the Total Buff compound. It should then continue to make the color more uniform and add a little bit more shine to the gel coat. After I applied it and rubbed off the excess, I gave it another good scrub with the boat cleaner to get off any remaining compound. And finally, I applied the Total Boat Premium Boat Wax. This is without question the best rubbing compound and gel coat restoration kit I've ever used. I have had good results with other products, but this really gave me a top shelf result. Once I got it done, I was really glad I hadn't attempted to repaint the hull. Turns out I didn't need to. It's hard to see in the video, but the change is really dramatic. So this Total Boat product gets a big thumbs up from me. You can use the promo code I showed you at the beginning of the video to order this kit at a discount. I'll leave a link to these products in the show notes below. With the hull spiffed up and looking great, new paint, non-skid on the deck, hardware going back in, woodwork just about done, it's really looking great. Just about ready to splash. In the next episode, we're going to finish her up, get her in the water, and show you footage of my first sail out with this magnificent boat. But in the meantime, one last announcement. I wanted to let you know too briefly that I have joined Patreon. If you'd like to help support me in this channel to produce these videos, I'd be grateful. However, if you don't, you're going to get to enjoy the content either way because I'm still just doing this for fun. Not to pass any kind of judgment on anybody else who monetizes their channel, but I'm not going to. There's not going to be any ads that you have to watch before you watch my videos. There's nothing going to be popping up in the middle. It's a strictly volunteer thing. If you'd like to throw a buck or two at the videos that I've put out, I'm grateful and thank you very much.